I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We have taken some excellent questions based on oblique triangles. This is part of our extended exam review. In this video, we will see how to calculate area of an oblique triangle using Heron's formula. Now, this formula is used whenever we want to find area of a triangle whose three sides are given to us. So whenever three sides are given to us, the only formula which best finds the solution with is Heron's formula. So if three sides are given, let me write down SSS. In that case, Heron's formula is used. The formula is S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C where S is the semi-perimeter, right? A plus B plus C is the perimeter divided by 2. And that is how you calculate. Now, we'll also understand another term here, which is what are perfect triangles. This is a new term for many students. A perfect triangle has natural numbers as its side lengths. And numerically, area is equal to perimeter. So numerically means units will be different, right? Area and perimeter, but numerically they have the same value. Now the question for you is, as a multiple choice question, which is triangle with which of the following side length is a perfect triangle? So we are given four triangles in this case. You need to find area of each compare with their perimeters and then figure out which one is a perfect triangle. You can now pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin with the very first one, which is, let's talk about A. The sides are 3, 4, and 5, and this reminds you of a right triangle, correct? So this one is simple. We have a right triangle in this case where the sides are 3, 4, and 5 for sure. And we know that the area of this will be half of base times height, right? So I can write this as uh, the sides 3, 4, and 5. And in this case, the perimeter, let me write perimeter P as equal to 3 plus 4 plus 5, which is 12. And area A is half of these two sides, half of 12, which is 6. So definitely, this does not qualify as a perfect triangle, correct? Now, let's try the other one, which is B for us. And let's see how to find the area of this. So now we're looking into the option B, where we have a triangle, which is 2, 6, and 10. Now, in this case, the, the perimeter, you can say, semi-perimeter, let us say, is 2 plus 6 plus 10 divided by 2, uh, which is 18 divided by 2, which is 9. So, we have found the perimeter, the semi-perimeter, S. Now, the area of this particular triangle is, we'll use the Heron's formula, which is S times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c substitute the values and use calculator s is 9 and we have 9 minus a is 2 so now so basically what you figure out this is the sides 2 and 6 will not form a triangle, right? So this is not a triangle, right? So let me just complete this. So we have 9 minus 6, and we have 9 minus 10, right? We do see that this is a negative number, and we also notice that sum of 2 and 6, 2 plus 6 is less than 10, so it cannot form a triangle. So definitely it is not a triangle, so we cannot find its area. Now let's look into the third example, uh, 
let's find the area of the third one. So now we have a part C, which is the sides are 9, 10, and 17. So, so we get the perimeter of this as sum of these two, which is 9 plus 10 plus 17, and the perimeter is equal to 19 plus 17, which is uh, 36, right? So 7 and 9 is 16, and then we get 36. Semi-perimeter is equal to half of 36, which is 18 for us. And so we can find the area of this, and the area using the formula will be S is 18, and we have 18 minus side length 9 times 18, minus 10 times 18 minus 17, right? And we'll do the square root of this to find the answer. So we have square root of 18 times, this is 9 and this is 8, and that is 1. So let's find the square root. You could also, you know, rearrange them and then figure out you get 18 times 72 which we are expecting 18 uh, perimeter of 36 that is what we are expecting and you can actually rearrange this and you can write this as 18 times 2 times 36 correct and so you do get area which is equals to 36 so as you can see in this particular case what we got here is that the area is same as the perimeter which is 36 and therefore, this is a perfect triangle. And so that is our final answer. Perfect. So the trick part here is we are given different types of triangles in this case. The first one was a right angle triangle. Second one, you cannot make a triangle. The third one is a perfect triangle. There is no need to do the fourth one. But as an additional exercise, you can check the area using Heron's formula for the fourth example also. However, I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.